listening Ricky J Sports. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Ricky J from Ricky J Sports, and I want to thank you all for coming back to another episode of GM Mode. And if you didn't watch the last episode, we shocked the YouTube nation as we made a blockbuster deal as we sent Riley to Edmonton and uh, and a, another kind of up and comer for Connor McDavid. And there was a mixed bag of reactions. Some people on YouTube said it was a good trade, and some people said that I've made my blue line as thin as my grandpa's hairline. <laughs> but that's okay. And I wanted to just send a rebuttal back to the people that thought it was a bad trade. Look at what it says here on the act activity feed. The final score was 4 nothing for the Leafs. Connor McDavid was unstoppable tonight with four points. I do agree with what some of you guys are saying that you need a good blue line to win or else uh, you know you're just gonna be a, a one-trick pony with the offense. But we're winning and that's all that matters. So in this episode, we are just going to finish off the season. Can you believe this season is coming to an end? I can't believe it. I feel like I've only done like four or five episodes, which is true. But in the beginning of the last episode, we weren't even in the playoff spot, but we made that big daddy trade. And now we are third in the division. We went on a tear. And now there's only a handful of games left and we are going to finish this off and hopefully we can make the playoffs. Playoffs? Remember that from last episode? <laughs> so before we get going, I am looking at my defensive, my thin defense, and I wanna see if we can pick some guys up, just like the Leafs did back in the day before the whole lockout issue. They would always pick up those guys that are in their 40s to build them, build them for the playoffs. So right now we have Smith, who's pretty bad. I may think about moving him, but I also want to look at the free agent market, see if anybody wants to jump aboard for the final stretch run. So right now it seems there's nobody, no defense that's scratched. So if somebody gets hurt, there's going to have to be an offensive player that's going to have to play defense and that's not good. So let me check quickly around the league for the free agent market. And see, see right now, look at this. The trading deadline's over and I can't move over to the free agent market. Is that how it is in the real NHL? Like, look at that. I can't move over left or right. So forget that idea <laughs> of switching guys. However, let's just check quickly down low in the AHL just real quick let's check do we have any up-and-comers on the defensive lines Harrington but everybody else is in the 70s that's okay we're winning with the thin defensive line we're all about the offense so let's hope we could be somebody said you're going to be like the Edmonton Oilers. However, they didn't say the date, so maybe we're, we'll be the Edmonton Oilers of 1985 in the 80s where they won the Stanley Cup. But let's just, let's just move on here. So, we're going to simulate right to the end. This season is coming to an end. It's almost like I don't want it to end. But here we go. It'll definitely stop up to that point. But here we go. So we lost 4 nothing, pretty bad. OT win. We need to at least be 500. Okay, we got the point. We got the win. Oh, got the win. Got the loss. Got the loss. Okay, wait. Let, let's stop this. <laughs> We're derailing right now. We're derailing. We got to go to morale. We are derailing. Arcabello. I've seen the front office make a bunch of boneheaded decisions lately. <laughs> Hopefully he's not referring to me. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. This guy's going to be on the block. He's going down. Okay. Wow, we just were hit with... Look at this. We've lost like four in a row. Wait, one? Hold on, boys. One, two, three. <sighs> it just, everything happened so quickly. 
Let me check. I'm stunned right now. Let me just check the stats, the league stats quickly here and see if we're still in the playoffs. I'm not going to say because I'm sweating right now. Okay, we're still in the hunt of the playoffs, but Montreal is just right behind us and Detroit is four points back. If we check the other division, remember it's top three per division and then two wildcard spots. Let's check the Metropolitan Division. And again, as long as we just stick to our <laughs> game plan, which is B500 for the rest of the way. So I'm looking right here, 89 and 88. So we're, you know, we're two points in the playoff hunt. I need to check out our goaltending situation here. The panic button, I think, is being pushed right now. <laughs> I'm pushing it. <laughs> because we got so close to sneaking in the playoffs. I want to just check out Reimer's stats. He's an 890 save percentage with seven wins in 19 games played. And Bernier, this could be the... See, look look at Bernier. Seven, 932 save percentage. We got to do a little switcheroonie here. You got to keep Bernier in right now. I wouldn't play around and just give Reimer minutes when we're in the hunt of making it to the postseason. So right now, we're going to slow simulate these games there's only three games left and things are as tight as a screw on a screw that's not bad a screw on a on a whatever on a screwdriver so let's simulate here Whew. i've never been so nervous in an episode you know when i get nervous i start sweating on the sideburns and i'm <laughs> wiping it off right now oh we got a little bit of a power play let's speed it up a bit here folks we need to get at least a point. Put pressure on the other teams that are on the outside looking in. That's the key. Wow, they even have a shot yet on Bernier, but that's okay. Oh, they got a shot now. We're on the power play. We gotta capitalize. Come on. Still tight. We're playing tight. <laughs> oh no. I have a premonition that bad things may happen here, folks. I hope I'm wrong. We're gonna fast forward quick. We've got two more games to go. It's a feeling out process in the first period and it looks like there's no goals. So let's continue the, res <clears throat> let's resume and continue the simulation. They're already on the power play. Still a tight game. Usually we're popping goals like nobody's business. Yes, speaking of goals, Nazem Kadri. Oh, but they tied it up. Let's keep things rolling here. We're getting outshot. Where's our mighty offense? Where's that mighty offense that we needed? Still tied. Let's resume. I'm almost tempted to jump right in. I don't care if it's going to be a long video. Oh, nice. Bozak gets a goal. We need an insurance here, folks. Come on. Give me another one. Give me another one. Yes. There goes the insurance gold right there with Holland. And nine minutes left. We just have to hang on. Get that win. Even though we're being outshot, it's a pretty even game. Things are going well. Three minutes to go. It looks like we're going to bring it home, folks. Uh-oh. Oh, I spoke too soon. Yes. Got the win. Okay, let's move on to... Let's advance. Continue. So we got the win. Okay, multiple morale changes. People have gained morale because of ice time. Let me check if good old Max Domi is still in the lineup because we picked up Max Domi in that crazy trade and he is still there which is great Whew. let's check out the standings this is like a horror movie <laughs> and you know what happens in a horror movie it's never a good ending so let's not say it's a horror movie if we go to stats it does look like we just clinched I think I saw an X by Toronto and we did can you believe it 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable to think of how rough the season started. And then we went on that tear. I know we made some crazy deals, but we clinched. Things were getting a little hairy there. Do you like all my symbol symbolic <laughs> lines? But things were getting a little hairy, but we did make it through into the third seed of the Atlantic Division. So let's just quick simulate and see who we're going to face in the playoffs. Playoffs? You're talking playoffs? You want to make the playoffs? Yes, I do. And we did. Thanks to all of you. I love my backseat assistant coaches. You know who you are. You guys are the best commenting. I love it. Love this mode in the game. And let's just see. We're going to simulate up to here. We lost against Philly, and that's okay. And then we want to... Oh, good. Going into the playoffs with a win is always good. Now, let's just see. We gained locker room chemistry. Before this episode started, we were at 69. Now we're at 71. Let me just check morale quickly here, folks. Anybody want to have a chat? Doesn't look like anybody wants to have a chat. It's weird how the chemistry says that Panic is the leader. I remember I gave him the captaincy in the beginning. And, you know, he... Uh, I don't know why he's considered the leader. Look at these guys. Disengaged, disgruntled. Hey, it's a team game. If we're winning, you should be happy. Now, the regular season has ended. And what I'm going to do before anything, because I don't want to mess something up and simulate by accident, is I want to save. <laughs> save and exit. Now, I know you think I'm paranoid, but I want to save just to make sure that when the next episode happens, we will have the playoff situation here. So we're going to go back into it. Do you guys ever do that where you're playing a game and you're really, really into it and you just start saving crazy? I'm playing Fallout 4 and every time something happens, I always have to save. I have like 200 save files already <laughs> and I'm not even like 10 hours into the game. But you got to save. You got to be careful. You got to be safe. Okay, so let's see before we end this episode who we are facing in the first round of the, say it with me now, Playoffs! Playoffs! Never seen that interview. You got a YouTube playoffs football interview. And you'll get my drift. So the regular season has ended. We are in third. Okay. And let's click on regular season. Okay. We want to stop the simulation. And oh no. We are facing the team that we couldn't beat throughout the whole course of the regular season, and that's Tampa Bay. <sighs> Out of all teams, I would have hoped it would have been somebody else, but we can't beat Tampa Bay. I wish it would show you the matchup from the regular season, but if I had to go look, look, we, look at that. We, on the 15th, we lost to Tampa 8-4. Then we lost on the 29th 4-2. How many times did we face them? So I'm looking for Tampa Bay. So 4-2, yeah, we saw that. Let's see, in January. Anybody see Tampa? We, sh we lost in a shootout, 3-2. So we haven't had much success against them. Have we won a game against them? It's not looking good. It looks like we're gonna be facing the big dog the schoolyard bully. Let's see if we could take him down. Yeah, so we we didn't beat them once. <laughs> oh, we did beat them in preseason, I think. Or no, that was the first game of the season. We did beat them in the first game of the season, but then ever since then it was downhill. So let me know before we get into the next round or this round of the playoffs let me know if there's anything i need to do before we get started so we're ready we're set and we're ready to give the kitchen sink and the whole the whole house on tampa how about that analogy we are ready i want to be ready 100 percent. and what i'm going to do is slow simulate and if it's close with five or ten minutes left in the third period within a goal i'm jumping in hopefully that will benefit us 
I hopefully it won't be a negative uh, effect on us. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is Ricky J Sports. And no, I'm Ricky J from Ricky J Sports. And you guys are amazing. Once again, thanks for all the comments, eh? Like the last episode, there's 19 comments. And I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Let's have some fun. This is what it's all about. I love it when the snow starts falling and you're playing hockey games and video games. It's just a great time of the year. And uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Take care.